हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कोएगुलेशन फैक्टर डेफिशिएंट सो कोएगुलेटिंग फैक्टर्स वर डेफिशिएंट दैट इज नोन एज कोएगुलेशन फैक्टर डेफिशिएंसी एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलरली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द हीमोफीलिया एंड एज वी ऑल नो हीमोफीलिया इज अ एक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव डिजीज सो हेयर द टाइप्स ऑफ द हीमोफीलिया सो हीमोफीलिया टाइप्स वर टाइप ए हीमोफीलिया हीमोफीलिया बी हीमोफीलिया सी एंड पैरा हीमोफीलिया दिस वर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ हीमोफीलिया सो इन द हीमोफीलिया ए देर इज फैक्टर एट को एगुलेटिंग फैक्टर एट इज डेफिशेंट दैट्स वाई इट इज हीमोफीलिया ए वेल इन द हीमोफीलिया बी फैक्टर नाइन इज डेफिशेंट एंड एज वी मेक द सी वी कैन ऑल्सो मेक फ्रॉम द सी दैट इज ई सो इन द हीमोफीलिया सी इलेवन फैक्टर इलेवन इज डेफिशेंट वेल इन द पैरा हीमोफीलिया एज वी मेक पी एंड P is for पाँच means factor पाँच is deficient. That is factor फाइव is deficient. So these were the four types of hemophilia: hemophilia A, hemophilia B, hemophilia C, and para hemophilia. Now the basic uh, dif what we do differentiate between the hemophilia A and hemophilia B. So first one is the in hemophilia A there is deficient of factor eight, while in the hemophilia B factor नाइन is deficient. now in both these fact both these hemophilia we have the same that is the intrinsic pathway is uh, defective so intrinsic pathway is defective in both these conditions because factor 8 and factor 9 involving in the intrinsic pathway of the coagulation so this is the intrinsic pathway deficient in the both hemophilia a as well as hemophilia b and in this as the intrinsic pathway is defective so there is increase of a ptt time if extrinsic is defective then pt time is increased but here partial thromboplastin time will increase so increase a ptt both in hemophilia a as well as hemophilia b but here is one difference about the diagnosis diagnostic test so the in the diagnostic test for hemophilia a we do the factor 8 as a for the hemophilia b we do the factor 9 as a because in hemophilia b factor 9 is deficient so in the diagnosis test also we do the as a of factor 9 now in the treatment of the hemophilia a and hemophilia b so for the hemophilia b the treatment is fresh frozen plasma while for the treatment of factor a hemophilia a that is factor 8 deficient is the cryo precipitate because in the cryo precipitate the cryo precipitate is rich in factor 8 that's why we in for the treatment of hemophilia we give the cryo precipitate while for the treatment of hemophilia b we give the fresh frozen plasma and there is one drug also that is humate means 8 8 means 8 so as the humate is uh, the recom in this we give the recombinant factor 8 so that's why uh, for the hemophilia a we can also give the drug that is humate now the next one is the von willebrand disease so in the von willebrand disease so basically in this what will happen that there is the deficiency of von willebrand factor there is deficiency of von willebrian factor that's why von willebrian disease will occur now what is the source of von willebrian factor so, so the source of von willebrian factor is first one is the endothelial cells and from endothelial cells what is so in endothelial cells there is presence of vibel pellet bodies there is presence of vibel pellet bodies as the vibel w stands for von willebrian factor and p stands for p selectin so vibel pellet bodies contains consist of von willebrian factor as well as p selectins and the second source of von willebrian factor is the mega karyocytes second source is mega karyocytes so these were the two sources of von willebrian factor that is endothelial cells and mega karyocytes now what is the function of the von willebrian factor so basically the function is important Uh, as von willebrand factor is important for the platelet functions and von willebrand factor is a carrier of factor 8 so von willebrand factor is a carrier of factor 8 now the von willebrand disease is divided into three types that is type 1 type 2 and type 3 so here the type 3 is autosomal recessive while type 1 and type 2 is autosomal dominant so autosomal recessive condition is most severe condition please remember it that the type 3 von willebrand disease is most severe so for the blood test we can check the bleeding time because factor 8 is deficient because there is deficiency of von willebrand factor and von willebrand factor is a carrier of factor 8 so here 
there is defective in the coagulation pathway so in the blood test there is increase in the bleeding time as well as increase in the aptt time because intrinsic pathway is defective and for the treatment what we do for the treatment we do the cryo precipitate again why we do the cryo precipitate because in cryo precipitate there is factor 8 so that's all about the uh, coagulation uh, disease and the von willebrand disease i hope this video will benefit you thank you bye bye guys